In this chapter, we are going to talk about inference about means and proportions with two populations. We are going to start with the case about inference about difference between two population means. Not surprisingly, we are going to start with the easiest case. This is about inference about the difference between two population means based on independent samples when both population standard deviations are known. First of all, let's establish some notations. Mu1 is the mean of population 1, mu2 mean of population 2. And following our convention, sigma1 and sigma2 are two population standard deviations. And n1 and n2 are the sample size uh, selected from either population. Well, uh, let's talk about what we mean by independent samples a little bit. In our case, independent sample simply means that selecting one sampling element has no influence on the selection of another sampling element. Furthermore, the selection of a sample from population 1 has no influence on the selection of a sample from population 2. Later on, we are going to talk about the scenarios in which we are going to deal with matched samples. Let's look at the uh, interval estimation of the difference of two population means. The point estimate of the difference between two population means will simply be the difference between two sample means. The tricky part is the uh, standard error of x1 bar minus x2 bar, which is given by this formula square root of variance of population 1 divided by n1 plus variance of population 2 divided by n2. And the interval estimate is given by x1 bar minus x2 bar plus minus margin of error. And here's how margin of error is defined, which is the critical z-score times the SE. It's very similar to what we did in previous chapters, it's just that the definition of standard error is different. Here, we have to take into account two populations and two samples. Next, let's look at hypothesis testing. In the hypothesis test about difference between two population means, we have similarly three forms of the tests. Lower tail test, upper tail test, and two-tailed test. Here, D0 is called the hypothesized difference between two population means. In many cases, as a matter of fact, D0 will simply be zero. The test statistic for hypothesis test about two population means with non-population standard deviations are as follows. Because we know the uh, population standard deviations this is going to be a uh, z-score based on normal distribution. The z-score is given by the formula over here. The numerator is x1 bar minus x2 bar minus d0, the hypothesized difference. The denominator will simply be our SE, standard error. The way we conduct the uh, hypothesis testing is exactly the same as the way we did it when there's only one population mean. Practically, in most of the cases, if both sample sizes are greater than or equal to 30, that would be uh, sufficient. Otherwise, it is better that the two population distributions are approximately normal. Next, let's look at one example of that. A traveler magazine conducts an annual survey in which readers rate their favorite cruise ship. All ships are rated on a 100-point scale, with higher values indicating better service. A sample of 37 ships that carry fewer than 500 passengers resulted in an average rating of 85.36, and a sample of 44 ships that carry 500 or more passengers provided an average rating of 81.4, Assume that the population standard deviation is 4.55, the 
for ships that carry fewer than 500 passengers and 3.97 for ships that carry 500 or more passengers. What is the uh, point estimate of the difference between the population mean rating for ships that carry fewer than or more than 500 passengers? At a 95% confidence, what is the margin of error? And what would be the 95% uh, confidence interval estimate of the difference between the population mean ratings for the two sizes of ships? As a matter of fact, uh, based on this, we can also conduct hypothesis testing whether smaller ships have better rating than larger ships. We are going to do all the calculation in our IPython notebook. Let's take a look. Well, first of all, let's import the normal distribution and t-distribution from the uh, scipy.stats package. Next, I'm going to define a simple function to compute the standard error for the difference between two population means. And then, I'm going to collect information from our problem statement. X1, I'm using X1 for X1 bar and X2 for X2 bar, etc. Now we are going to do some calculation. Well, first of all, let's call our uh, standard error function to compute the standard error. And we're going to calculate critical z score calling the uh, inverse CDF function of normal distribution. We call that this is confidence interval. So we're going to plug in uh, 1 minus r over 2. Once we have that, we can compute margin of error easily, which is uh, z times uh, standard error. And then we're going to print out all the results. Let's take a look. All right, SC is about 0.96, and critical Z score, not surprisingly, is 1.96. The resulting margin of error is 1.8776. Now let's compute the lower and upper bound of the 95% confidence interval. Here's the uh, lower bound, which is 2.08. Here's the upper bound, which is equal to 5.8376. The 95% confidence interval for the difference between these two population means is 2.08 to 5.84. Suppose that we want to test whether small cruise ships have better rating than large cruise ships. In this case, the null hypothesis would be mu1 minus mu2 less than or equal to 0. Recall that mu1 is the uh, population mean of uh, population 1, which is about small cruise ships. The alternative hypothesis will be mu1 minus mu2 greater than 0. And this is, will be a upper tail test. Next. Let's compute the z-score and the corresponding p-value. And z-score is more than 4, that is to say, we are talking about more than 4 standard deviations above from the mean. As a result, as you can imagine, the p-value is extremely small, that is equal to 1.78 times 10 to the negative 5. That is roughly 0.002%, way less than our significance level R5%. As a result, we are going to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that, indeed, the smaller cruise ships have better rating than large cruise ships. 